Hello and welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to embed graphs into your TKinter project. I will be using matplotlib to create the graphs and then I will be importing TKinter to embed the graphs into. Let's get started. First things first is we need to import the TKinter module and I've given that an alias of TKR. So wherever we mention TKR, in the code, we are calling the tkinter module. The next thing we need to do is import an area of the matplotlib module called pyplot. So matplotlib.pyplot, and I've given that an alias as plt. So wherever we mention plt in the code, I'm referring to matplotlib.pyplot. The next thing we need to do is import a different area of the matplotlib module called figure canvas tkag. And what this does is it enables us to embed our matplotlib graph into our tkinter module. And how I've imported that is I've typed in from space matplotlib dot backend dot backend underscore tkag space import figure canvas tkag. So that is our import completed. The next thing I've done is created our tkinter window. And I've done that by typing in window equals tkr dot tk with the T as a capital. And what I like to do is go to the, leave a big space and then go to the end and type in tkr dot main loop. And for me, that represents the start and the end of our tkinter GUI project. The next thing I've done is specified a few little things about the window. So I've given the window a title by typing in window.title and then in brackets type in graph in quotation marks as well. I've also specified the geometry. I've given by typing in window.geometry then in brackets put 200 by 300 in quotation marks. So that is our tkinter window created. The next thing we need to do is create our graph ready to be embedded into our tkinter window. And how I've done that is firstly, I've created two variables, one x and one y, or two lists in this case. So x equals one, two, three, four, and five, and y also equals one, two, three, four, five. And in this case, they represent, they will represent coordinates. So one will be the x coordinate, another will be a y coordinate. So we should end up with five points on our graph. The next thing I've done is to create the graph itself. And I've called this graph fig, so fig for figure. And how I've created it is I've typed in plt, calling matplotlib.pyplot, dot figure. So dot figure, if I do this with you, because this is key dot figure. And then in brackets, type in fig size, comma, DPI equals 100. So fig size represents the size of the figure in inches. So what this means is the size of the figure will be five inches by four inches. And what DPI is referring to is the dots per inch. So that's our size of figure created. The next thing we need to do is specify the location and then actually plot our points. And how we do this is we type in fig, referring to the figure we've created here, dot add subplot. So this specifies the location of our chart or our figure. In this case, one, one, one represents the top left. And then dot plot, and then in the brackets, x comma y comma, and then BO in quotation marks. And what X referring to is the X plots list we created earlier, and Y refers also to the Y list we created earlier. What BO means in the speech marks is blue circles. So these X and Y plots will be displayed as blue circles in our plot. So that is our TK into window created. 
and our graph created. Now we need to link our graph and get our graph and embed it into our tkinter window. And we're going to do that by using figure canvas tk ag. And how I've done that is I've typed in figure canvas tk ag. Now I like to think of the ag as meaning aggregate or aggregating. And then in the in the brackets, I put fig referring to our graph, and then window is referring to our TK into window. So we're aggregating our figure into our TK into window. And I've called that whole process chart. So chart in equals figure canvas TK ag figure window, figure into the window. And so that has put our figure into the window, but now we need to show it. And we do that by typing in chart, referring to the chart figure canvas, TK ag, dot get TK widget dot pack. And what that does is that packs our chart and displays it in the TK inter window. And after you've done all that, the whole you should now have successfully embedded a graph into TK inter. So let's run the code and see what happens. And here we are. We have our output here in the middle. You can see we have five points represented as blue circles. And as the whole thing is clearly a graph and it is displayed in a TK inter window. So I hope you've enjoyed that tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to my other channels. Subscribe to this channel and watch my other videos. And where I see this going is I'm probably going to develop this at some point and I'm going to maybe add entry boxes, add sliders, maybe drop downs where you can change your graph and display it however you want and you can inter make it more interactive. But I really hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel and thank you very much for watching.